right, guys, welcome back. 1776 or bust. So today's video is my new carry. This is a gun that I am carrying constantly with me for many different reasons. Shouldn't really surprise you with what you saw in the picture, but I'm going to kind of give you an overview as to why. Um, now, I am a fan of Glocks. I wouldn't call myself the world's biggest Glock fanboy, but at the same time, I definitely do like Glocks a cons uh, considerable amount. And the reason being is because you know they're reliable. You have a tremendous amount of aftermarket support in regards to sights, triggers, systems, uh, holsters, you name it, anything and everything works with Glocks. So I decided to use the MR920 as my everyday carry. And I have to say, I have been extremely happy with this carry. Now, there's many different reasons why. First off, is this the best gun on, on the planet? It, it probably isn't. There are some things about the gun that aren't so good. And again, the gun is safety checked before the video. But uh, first off, the trigger out of the box wasn't that great. Uh, felt a little bit uh, mushy after you hit that wall. Uh, since then, it's, it's cleaned up a little bit, but I would say that it probably hasn't been 100%. And what I mean by that is you still have a little bit of that play in the trigger, although it is nothing noticeable. It is not a big deal. Uh, you know, a lot of people get hung up on this idea of having the perfect trigger. And out of the box, it's a fantastic trigger. There's not a lot of adjustment that's going to need to be made at all, if any. Uh, obviously, you have the mounting system for your red dot optic. Again, this is a proprietary thing, and there's also a trademark and a copyright pending on this. You don't need to do much of anything. You don't need a mounting plate or anything. It just goes in with the screws that then lay into the actual slide. That, to me, makes this gun perfect, especially if you're looking for something that's optic capable. Now, this may not work for people with large hands, per se, because it is based on a Glock 19 frame. Uh, obviously, you can see there are some amazing things that have been done, a deep undercut, a nice stippling job. Uh, you have the adjustable back straps and extended beaver tail. So really, you have the works on this gun. This gun is what I would consider probably the best um, Glock 19-ish uh, type of handgun that's available, obviously because of all of the fine little tweaks they did on this handgun, like the mounting plate and all, all the cuts on the, on the grip module. I mean, overall, why do I decide to carry this? Well, because honestly, I enjoy carrying a Glock 19. I enjoy carrying Glock 19 size handguns. This gun does not weigh a lot. It is a very, it's a fairly light handgun. I have not measured it myself, but even comparatively speaking to my Glock 19, this just feels a lot lighter in regards to weight. You can see that I put the magwell on there. Obviously, if you're running extended mags, that's great for you. But since I have 10 round magazines only in New York State, it kind of sucks. But at the same time, it does give you that option to get a, a nice clean mag insert with your, uh, with your magazine. So that might be something you'd want to look into. Night sights out of the box were great. They are uh, raised night sights. So you're going to notice that you do get very good co-witness here. Because that uh, there is no need for a plate, the optic sits a little bit lower into the frame, or I should say the slide of the handgun. Now, in regards to some of the other things that I found, one of the concerns that some people have uh, hit me up on are what about holsters? What holster works for you? What, what doesn't work? So I actually have four holsters. Actually, hold on. Now I've got four holsters that I'm going to show you that work with this particular handgun. Um, the fit is fairly good. There is a little bit of play, uh, maybe up and down a little bit, but nothing that I would be concerned about with the trigger going off or anything because the trigger guard is protected and there's really no obstacle or anything inside where that trigger would go off. So that's a good thing. So the first holster I'm going to show you is one that I've had the longest. I've had this holster right here for about five years. Uh, hopefully that'll actually focus. I'm not sure if it will. Maybe it does. Maybe it won't. But this, this holster right here that you're seeing is from uh, Tactical Justice. It's an old school holster. I've had it for a long time and uh, it fits perfectly snug. No issues with anything in regards to uh, retention on the holster. There is absolutely no real play on this thing. Holds it securely. So again, if you guys are looking for a holster for this handgun, you could go to Tactical Justice. I'm not sure if they do anything for optic cuts. This does not want have. Uh, this does not have it in there. However, I'm not carrying with an optic right now anyway, so it works perfectly. The next holster I'm going to show you is another holster that I absolutely love, and this, of course, is my Black Arch holsters. Again, you notice there is nothing for the optic cut. I guess I could always update this a little bit. Um, you know, potentially get another Glock 19 holster from them and just have the optic put in there. That's definitely feasible to do. However, since again, I am not carrying with the, with the uh, red dot, no need for it. But you're going to notice right here, uh, again, no movement whatsoever. The retention is great. You get a nice click, very positive in regards to making sure everything works. There is a little bit of play up and down, but that's not, again, anything that I'm concerned with when carrying this firearm. 
Uh, the one that I have over here, which is a little different, let me grab this out of the camera. Let's see, let me see what I can do here. So what you're going to see right now, this one is a pretty cool holster. This is my chest rig. This is from Quick Lock Holsters. I got it last year. Um, again, does it fit with the Glock 19? Of course it does, but does it fit with the MR920? And again, it does. It is a little bit of a loose fit. It doesn't move. It just rattles a little bit. But again, the retention is very positive. And I can always adjust, adjust the retention probably even more to get this to lock in even, even tighter. But overall, fantastic fit, and it works just perfectly. Well, if I can pull it out, it'd be great. And last but not least is this little guy right here. This is my Vetter holster. You can see that it is cut for an optic right there. So if I do want to carry this with an optic, you're going to notice. And again, there's no magazine, guys, so I'm not muzzling my hand. But what you're going to notice here is that uh, the optic works perfectly. There is no issue there. It is a clean cut, very nice looking cut on, on the holster. So again, does it retain? Yep, there's slight movement there. You can see. But again, that's not anything to worry about. Um, the trigger is not going to go off, uh, at least not from my, my standpoint. Again, you might not feel comfortable with that. But uh, just to kind of give you an idea, locks in place, the trigger is ready to go, and it's not going off at all. So, I mean, to me, it's a good, good, solid holster used for the MR920. I mean, overall, everything on this handgun has been phenomenal. Uh, the trigger is very good. Uh, probably not perfect, but definitely very good. At the same time, could it use improvement? Sure. But what can't use improvement, I guess you could say. Magazine release is very easy to use. Uh, very typical responsiveness for, like, let's say, a Glock uh, when you got plastic magazines and that kind of stuff. But other than that, the gun has been great. I recommend the MR920 for multiple reasons. One, extremely easy to carry. Two, you got a lot of aftermarket support in regards to holsters. Even if you want to throw new sights on here, which you don't really have to do, you still have that option of doing it. Um, so again, leave those comments down below. If you have experience with the MR920, what has worked for you in regards to holsters, sights, optics, whatever it might be? I think if you guys are out there and you're trying to figure out what kind of carry gun you want to use, that may not be a Glock, may not be a CZ, may not be a Smith & Wesson M&P, you probably want to look at the MR920. Price tag is a little high, I think we all know that, but for what you're getting for it and the ability to have so many things available at your disposal right out of the box, I think make it a good choice for any carry situation. Um, they now have the M9, uh, MR920L, which is their long slide version, which is basically the Glock 19 grip with a 17 slide. That's kind of interesting. Um, you know, initially I would have said that would be the way I, go, I would go with guns, but you know, after having experience with the 19X, the 45 as well from Glock, I really do like and prefer that longer grip with the shorter slide versus the long slide with the shorter grip. I know some people may say, well, then how do you conceal it? How do you carry it? But again, if you dress appropriately, you shouldn't have any problems uh, with carrying any firearm, to, you know, for that matter. But at the same time, if they kind of work that angle, I think that'd be something I'd be interested in. So again, chime down below. Tell me what you think, what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and whether or not you think that MR920 is probably going to be your pick for a carry firearm if you chose to move away from what you're currently carrying. Again, give those thumbs up because we can always appreciate the support and having these videos uh, get a little bit more notoriety, I guess you could say. Apparently, that's how you do it, by getting thumbs up, which I didn't know up until last week. So again, I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe, and as always, freedom is never free.